Uh, my name is uh, Wedson uh, Nyurenda. I was born 23rd of November 1966 in Ndola. Uh, did my primary school at Fibobe Primary School from grade 1 up to 7. And I uh, went to a, a high school, Kansenshi High School, uh, same place in Ndola uh, for my Form 1 up to uh, Form 3. When I transferred to Chingola, uh, Chingola High School, when I joined my brother uh, when he was playing for Changa. So I came to Power Dynamos 1991, uh, August. I remember very well it was August when the team was in the quarterfinals of the the CAF, CAF Cup. We are now calling it uh, the CAF, CAF Confederation Cup. It used to be called CAF Cup and they changed it. That year it was called Mandela Cup. So when I joined, it was in uh, Power Dynamos was in, in the quarterfinals, and uh, that meant in the format that we were playing that time, it was a home away, home away, home away games. So it meant that uh, I had six games to play for Power Dynamos in the cup to win the cup. So when I joined, we played the first game. I played in the cup. Uh, it was uh, against. Um, against uh, Intercity inter of uh, Burundi, and uh, we beat them at home. I scored in my debut two goals at home at Arthur Davis, and we went back to their place. We beat them, uh, we drew 1-1, one -one and we qualified. Then the next uh, uh, encounter was against uh, Asfayenenga of uh, Burkina Faso. We beat them uh, at their home, we beat them 1-0, and we came and drew 0-0 at home. We qualified, and then I scored also in the, in the next encounter. And we played the final, which was now the, the big one against the uh, BCC Lions. Uh, we, played at, uh, we played away first in, um, in, in, um, in Lagos. I scored two, and we came back home, I scored another goal. Uh, the finishing goal, which was, we won 3-1 at home, and away we lost 3-2. So we carried the day, and uh, that was the, the biggest cup that uh, has been ever won by any club in, uh, in Zambia. On Saturday, we just read from the newspapers that the Football Association of Zambia met with the, uh, our club officials and the club officials have said that we are not going to we are not going to play even if we go to to uh, to Burundi we are just going as tourists because we are boycotting and a lot of things was spoken to the association and the the mother body being what it is they just hammered us with the disciplinary action and said all those senior players are banned for the rest of the season. And it was the beginning of the season, so we had to stay the whole of the season without playing. But we were training. Just training, training, training. We were being paid according to the contract. And then at the end of the season of 1992, that is when we saw the exodus. Many of the players left. That is the time, like I said, uh, we saw about five of us going to the Nizia Dynamos in South Africa. Some of the players left going somewhere else. And all the same, we had a very, very formidable reserve team which remained and they won the league also. Mm -hmm. And they played very well. So you could see the, the base of Power Dynamos, which the coaches, uh, uh, Fred Miller, Alex Chola, and the rest uh, had left. Uh, such that even when the cream left, even the reserve team had to win the league. So the laws that I, I experienced there was just that ban because I think it created a lot of uh, anxiety in our families and uh, uh, a lot of things. Coach Freddy and uh, Coach uh, Alex, they cemented my, my coaching ambitions because uh, I saw great character in, uh, in Coach Freddy. Whatever he wants, he will get. That is what he, that man was. 
and uh, we, you know, we we named him Ichiwa because that man he could not let his players be. Weekend, you are not going to be alone. You are free from training. You are not training, but if you go out gallivanting, you find yourself in a club. Freddie Miller, you will find him coming. He's wearing a cap and he's wearing his coat. They look at you and you just say, "Eh, ni mi mona, eh, tu kama guy di pa training," and he goes. So he, he was guarding his children jealously all the time. So when you come to training, can you imagine you saw <laughs> he saw you in a club? You would just start your own work before he comes. So you would find us running, running, <laughs> running around the pitch. And then you say, hey, you know what you did. So you have to do that. And then you add his own work and uh, you made sure that we were fit. And uh, when he's explaining the game, I think uh, he was, he's, he's a man who knows uh, football from A up to Z. We do not have passion now. At our time and the predecessors of ours, the ones that we, we got it from, it, is all, it was all about the passion. First is passion for the game and passion for the badge, the badge you are playing for. Monetary, it was secondary. The allowances that we were getting cannot be compared to what people are working for now. And uh, the players of now, I cannot even uh, compare them to what we, we used to see. Honestly speaking, uh, if I look at the, the players playing, most of the players playing in the Premier Division now, you cannot compare them. At, at that time, they cannot find a place in a, in a senior team because of the hard work that was there, the passion of the game, the interest of the game, just that zeal to wear that number. Believe me, we were well-known, well-known stars, but we were not wearing Jesus with a, with a name at the back. But people will know you. They will know you. That is Wedson going there. That is the guy who wears number five at power. Today, a player can go seven games without a goal. He's happy. He's going out into the clubs. He's drinking, and they don't even have that, that thing in there. I've seen players will lose a game. You lose badly to a team which you, you were supposed to, to beat. By 18 hours, the player is even drunk. The game has finished, ended at uh, 17 hours. 18 hours, this guy is, is jovial, he's drunk. He's not even reflecting about the game. That tells you a lot. Uh, we need, uh, I think where we have gone wrong is we did not record those games that were played some time back. We do not have anything in the archives. I've been in many clubs that I've played for, even Power Dynamos. I've been, I've been there to visit. I've been there when we play, I go into the clubhouse of Mchanga, Power. Believe me, I've never seen any picture of myself, any picture of Wisdom Chancer. There's none there. So how can these new generation players respect the culture and the, the tradition of the club? First of all, when somebody is coming to a club like Power Dynamos, he must ask himself, is this the right club for me? Can I fit into the shoes of that club? They must know there is history there. These boys, the new boys who are on the block now, we need to give them something to say, okay, this is the club I'm joining then I have to be a special player. Because every gym and jack now can play for any club. It is so sad. I've enjoyed my life as a yellow, and uh, I'll continue enjoying and uh, supporting the club. Uh, God willing, one day I'll go back there and uh, contribute again in a different way. Uh, probably in coaching or 
something else. But uh, I wish all the Power Dynamos fans and uh, the sponsors, the players, the executive committee, and uh, everyone who follows Power Dynamos a happy 50th uh, anniversary. Uh, we have come very long way, and uh, we should continue moving on. I would request the the team, especially the players, to give the best the best uh, gift to the Power Dynamos uh, family this season. As a 50th anniversary, they should win the league and uh, give it to the club.